There are six black door panels that run around the middle of the MV200. These are clipped in with black panel clips and protect the panel cavities of the van, which I have now filled with insulation, from knocks and damage. I started by measuring the size of the pockets needed for the small back door panel and drawing up a plan. I needed twice as much carpet than card in length, and gave the whole perimeter a margin of 5cm to create the ends that will tuck in behind the panel. If the plan doesn't make much sense now, hopefully it will by the end of this video. I cut a template out of paper to see the size the finished pocket would be so I could see how it would look on the panel, bearing in mind that there will be two pockets on this panel. Next I cut out the two pieces of card that would sit inside the folded fabric. These bits of card were cut to 25 by 20 centimeters, which is the visible area of the pocket once it is attached to the panel. I then searched through my pile of carpet leftovers and selected some scraps that could be cut to 60 by 30 centimeters. I cut two pieces of fabric to this size. Whilst it's good to be careful, I found you don't have to be too precise with cutting the fabric, as the ends will never be seen. With the carpet cut, I could lay the card in and get an idea of how the pocket would look. Using standard contact adhesive, I glued the card onto the fabric, so that the long end of the card sat in the middle of the fabric, so the fabric could fold over it. This would create a nice neat edge for the top, as well as creating a soft interior for the pocket. With the carpet and card covered, I folded the carpet in half and pressed the two sides together. I then repeated this for the second piece of fabric. I managed to get a bit of contact adhesive on the front side of the carpet, but White Spirit soon got rid of that. The carpet was finished with for now, so I could move on to cutting slots into the panel. First I measured the panel and used masking tape to create a mark to cut along, as pen lines don't show up against the black. I will be cutting two side slots and one along the bottom for each pocket, however I cut the bottom one a little shorter to ensure that the panel didn't lose its rigidity. I later cut incisions in the carpet to work around this. Whilst I finish this, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, where you can find the rest of my campervan conversion video series. After cutting these two sets of slots, it was time to attach the carpet to my panels. Making sure the glued edges of the carpet were going to be tucked into the back of the panel, and leaving the neatly folded over edge on the front, I lined up the carpet against the panel and started cutting two incisions into each bottom corner. The first was 5cm in, the second was a further 25 centimeters in. 
I repeated this on the other corner and then on the other piece of carpet. The purpose of these incisions is to ensure that the carpet can fit through the slits without getting caught or bunched up. Using a plastic trim removal tool, I gently pressed the bottom section of carpet through the bottom slit into the panel until it couldn't go any further. I repeated this for the sides and then did the top pocket as well. I had to make a few adjustments to the slits along the way, but it was worth it to ensure that the pocket sat in place well. Once both of the pockets were in, I adjusted them from the front to make sure they were both equal and then used contact adhesive to glue the flaps of carpet on the back of the panel. I was initially unsure of whether contact adhesive would hold the fabric to the panel well enough, but it has created an incredibly good bond, so there's no chance of the pocket sagging or coming out of the slits. Although the back looks messy after gluing, once the panel is reattached to the van, it will never be seen. I repeated this entire process for the two side door panels. These are nearly identical, so once I had cut the slits in one, I used it as a template for the other, which sped up the process. The size of these pockets was 30 by 25 centimetres, so a little wider than the back door pockets. Pockets are so high up on these panels, it's because I want to be able to access both of these pockets when the bed is pulled out. I measured for this off camera before I started and will be uploading a video on the bed I've built for my van soon. I'm so happy with how these pockets have turned out. It's really a very simple concept but will be incredibly effective in increasing the storage capacity of my van. The pockets are strong, low profile and match the van interior really nicely and best of all, it barely cost me anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next I'll be working on the floor so please subscribe to keep up to date with my van build series. Thanks for watching.